Welcome, I'm Bev Adams. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! It's December and it's time for all those little gifts that you give to your co-workers and your neighbors. Of course, this might fit a gift card as well. It's a pizza box and it's got a belly band on it. And you can just slide this belly band off to get into the inside. In addition to the pizza box, you're going to need a, a three inch strip of designer series paper. I'm using the Dashing Along designer series paper and you will not find this in the holiday catalog or the annual catalog. The Dashing Along designer series paper was released in September as a special host bonus, but as some of our other holiday papers have retired, they have brought this out to um, sell. So you can buy this. The item number is 149903. It's $11 in the US. You get 12 sheets, but you get four of three different papers. I love that these papers are really kind of holiday on one side and more generic on the other. My personal favorite is this one. I use this side on the outside for my, for my sample. So I will show you this side for this box. The first thing we need to do is assemble the box. So look for the side with the hole in it. And we're going to have that be the bottom. The first thing you want to do is crease all of the score lines. Going back with the full hole at the bottom, you want to put these tabs, fold these tabs up and kind of put them in these slots. This part's going to go over the top and hold those down and this also goes in those little slots. Fold those down and then these tuck in, this tucks in as well. The next thing we want to do is wrap our designer series paper around. I chose three inches to make the best use of my designer series paper. This box is actually three and a half, so if you wanted to cut your paper to three and a half, that, that will be pretty too. Line up the edge with the bottom of the box and just kind of wrap and finger crease as you go around. You're going to want this snug, but not so snug that you can't slide it off. And then we're actually going to put it this way so that, so that this edge is right on the crease. You can use adhesive of your choice. I'm wanting a nice firm hold, so I'm using the tear and tape. So this is the top of your box. We're going to want that on the bottom of the box. The one that doesn't go the full end goes on the inside. And then this will end up at the edge. I have some of the Cherry Cobbler cotton twine from the Festive Farmhouse cotton twine. And I think this stuff is just wonderful. It's so soft. I'm going to just put a little bit of adhesive on the middle, on the top of the box, and wrap this around. I wrapped it around three times. I'm using the two and a fourth inch circle punch to punch this out. It's really just giving a little bit of stability and strength to the doily, but I think it also gives a 
better solid background to the doily if you've got paper like this. These pearlized doilies are just gorgeous. If you don't want the pearl, you can just use the other side. And we're going to be covering up the center of it so it doesn't hurt to just stick it on here. And I think you'll find that it matches that kind of inner circle pretty well. Putting this on with a couple of dimensionals. I have a scrap of Whisper White and the Cherry Cobbler ink. And I'm stamping it with For You from Cake Soiree. I think it's a very elegant font. And I'm punching that out with a 1 and 3 8 scallop circle punch. And I'm just going to sponge the edge. I like to kind of clean off my stamp with the sponge and it's just about the right amount of ink and it helps to clean up my stamp while I'm at it. Put another couple of dimensionals under here. little bow. And just put this on with a glue dot. And I kind of pinch the glue dot under the baker's twine. And that's it, a very quick, elegant gift box. If you follow this link on the video or in the YouTube description below, I'll have free detailed directions for this project and product links. I sell the Stampin' Up! products you've seen in the video. Just click the links for products you'd like to purchase and you'll be taken to my online store at Stampin' Up! I offer lots of resources at BevAdams.com. Click on the home button under the banner. Click the Shop button to find specials from Stampin' Up! and shopping strategies to make the most of your money. Be sure to read about the frequent shopper points I offer my customers and the products I offer. You can get information about sharing my Evernote notebook of current Stampin' Up! products, taggers to name all those layering framelits, a paper sampler from Stampin' Up! cardstock, heavy-duty bags to store your 12 by 12 and 6 by 6 paper, and for the bow maker that my friend makes that I'm always using in my videos. Click the Inspiration button to scroll my projects year by year to 2011. You can go to the original post with directions. If you're new to stamping or stampin' up, you might want to check out the Basics button where I share about stamps, ink, and paper, cutting card bases and layers, and some of my favorite tools. The organization button takes you to lots of resources like a practically free stamp pad storage solution, a basic toolkit you can grab and go, labels and case inserts for just about every product, and more. More organization means more time for crafting. Click the Sip Together button to connect with me. Let's stamp if you're near Ventura County in California. Join my team if you're anywhere in the U.S. Stampin' Up! welcomes people who want to save 20 to 25% on every order, people who want to share Stampin' Up! with a few friends, or those who want to share Stampin' Up! as a business. You can click About Me where you'll find a link to email me. Whether we get together on the internet, in my home, or in your home, whether we drink water, coffee, tea, or wine, 
The important thing is to put stamps, ink, and paper together and do something creative. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also to my website so you don't miss a thing. Thank you so very much for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.